morning, but it's come out pretty nice for the afternoon. No wind, so we're just motoring. But we're doing all right, team, aren't we? Yeah. Day two. It's a really confused sea. We've got swell coming from a couple of different directions. And it seems like the sleeping sickness has uh, taken over the crew. So we've got two down. Michael's down in his room having a sleep. Zippy was having a sleep just moments ago. I had a sleep this morning. Oh, it's hard work with sailing. and we can finally see land and it's the Spirito Santo which we travelled around uh, last year. Time to refuel. All the cans that Dave's got on board. Just decided it's time to top up one of the tanks, the starboard tank. And then you'll feel happier about continuing to motor. Especially while it's calm. We're still off the Spirito Santo. Working our way down the coast of Vanuatu. Happy helper. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Dave's been thinking about this task all morning. So how many litres went in? 165 I think. 165. It hasn't quite filled the tank. I don't think so, no. No, I haven't quite topped it up. Now sail drive, what's happened to that, Dave? Oh, it's just started ticking again, so time to just um, give it a rest, I think. I just use it when we absolutely need it. Che's birthday today. Day seven of our passage to New Zealand. Numia, not sure where we're going. It's kind of hard having a birthday on the boat, isn't it? when we're moving. You got your birthday card? Yeah. What's your present, darling? Oh, I don't know. It's so you know what that is? No, I don't. And maybe you need to look at the other stuff and see if you can work it out. Okay. Um, no, wait. You 
cut your own lures. Fisherman Sam. And that, do you know what that is? No. I'll show you. You waste it. Then you put the fishing rod. And you stop making it up to fly away. See how the fishing rod. Have this bit here, Tom. Goes into there. It means you're going to hurt yourself. You know how you struggle and it straps around your back? And then you can pull the lines in. Alright, Tay, you might have to come over here, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tay. Happy birthday to you. Woohoo! Yay! Here are the girls brainstorming what their future business is going to be. They're discussing what kind of ideas may or may not work as an outcome of this um, COVID-19. What would support people during this time and into the future? Good thinking, girls. Yeah. But if it's by the time we get one up and running, running uh, hopefully the COVID-19 would have stopped and everything would be going back to normal already. Yeah. Well, I don't know that things will go back to normal. There'll be a new normal, I think. And the tricky part will be for you guys to work out what that new normal will look like. Hmm, may take some thought. And this monstrosity is what Dave has put together in the early hours of this morning. It's a windbreak. Because the poor boys up here were complaining that the wind's getting a bit chilly now that we're going past Ifate, which is the island where Port Vila is situated in Vanuatu. All of it's going to be into wind sailing. Cooking's a bit of a nightmare, to be honest, because whenever you stop to do something, something else tries to jump off, off the um, off the cooker, and you're doing something over here, and something over there decides to run away from you. So, it's a bit of a dance. Yeah, it's a dance. So, how's your dancing? <laughs> dancing good, and on top of that. Yeah. Well, you got to remember to shut the cupboards properly, don't you? You have to chase the weevils out of the rice before we start. Oh yeah, you have to get the weevils out of the rice. We left Honiara um, originally with the intention of stopping in Lata, um, waiting for the right weather then to get down to Numea, and then stopping in Numea for basically the weather, waiting for the weather to come right to head down to New Zealand. But while we're there, we would get fuel and food. We applied through an agent in uh, New Caledonia, in New Mia, some time ago to get permission to stop. Um, and it just all seemed to be treated incredibly casually and we never really got an answer. So eventually I got hold of the High Commission in New Caledonia, the New Zealand High Commission, because I was getting quite frustrated with the lack of confirmation. And we have been communicating backwards and forwards since. We're now maybe two or three days from Numia. We still don't have confirmation. However, the email that we've just received is looking quite positive. So um, the bureaucracy has been pretty hard. The, um, the not knowing whether we can actually legally enter is um, it's pretty hard because you want to do the things right, but people don't answer. So it's been pretty frustrating. an email from Numia to say that they'll grant us 24 hours to be in their harbour uh, for refuelling and reprovisioning, which really, I mean in our circumstances we really wanted to stop there, yes for the fuel, but also as a bit of a safe haven to wait for the weather in order to start the next journey down to New Zealand, which can be a bit treacherous sometimes. Um, so it's really important that we leave at the right time, so 24 hours is going to be a bit dicey as to uh, whether that's long enough or not to wait and wait out the weather. But at this stage, we're still hoping to bypass the air altogether and uh, sail straight down to New Zealand. So it'll all depend on how quickly we can get to that southern tip of, uh, of the island of New Caledonia. And uh, I guess then we'll just have to decide whether we're carrying on to New Zealand or whether we're going to have to do our 24 hour stay in, um, in the air. And although we say 
going to be leaving the Solomon Islands. I really believe you can get too much of a good thing. And, uh, and upon reflection, really, um, the Solomons was an amazing place to travel through. The people, the culture, um, uh, just the, the scenery is stunning. And, uh, and nothing like I was expecting when we first decided to go to the Solomons. I mean, we'd, we'd heard so much more to the negative, really, about travelling in the Solomons. And I, and I think that's really unfortunate because it's such a beautiful place. Um, we, were, we, we slept with our door open most nights just due to the heat and felt safe in most of the anchorages that we were in. I think it's really important to um, take, take what other cruisers say and what's maybe written in literature and uh, with a grain of salt maybe and, uh, and just check how old that um, information really is. Uh, we've been looking at information that's um, you know, a good 20 years old. And some of these experiences for, uh, for these sailors and these authors of this literature, you know, it was probably very real. But our experience uh, over the last seven months in the Solomon Islands is quite to the contrary. We found people incredibly receptive of us, except in a couple of places due to COVID, but that's unforeseen circumstances. That's not the norm. And, uh, and we've been welcomed. Um, we felt particularly safe in the islands. Uh, you know, Honiara is a different scenario altogether. But uh, out in the outer islands, look, it's a, it's, a, it's a great place to travel and I really recommend it for other people. It's, it's not a place to bypass at all. How do you feel about moving on to New Zealand, guys, without stopping in Numea? Much better. Yeah, Much happier. better. Really? Why? So then we don't have to quarantine. As soon as we arrive, we can go on equal force. Yes. Uh, we, we are a bit worried that they'll count, um, New Zealand will count their stopover in Numea's contact with people, which fair enough it probably would be. And we might have to do quarantine when we get back to New Zealand. But in this case, it'll be how many days at sea do you think? 15 or 16. Oh, I, reckon it, I reckon 17 still is my number. What do you think, guys? More We're on like day 10 today. Yeah. And then there's more, what's that? Sorry, darling? Uh, if we go now, there's more likely a chance that we'll have enough time to go down the morning for us. Okay, we might be. I'm excited. Excited. And what do you think of offshore sailing? Not bad. Not bad? Not what are the good bits about it? You don't have to interact with people. What? Really? Yeah. That's a positive? Yeah. Oh dear. I think we need to get you back into society. <laughs> no! So what are, the, what are the good bits? Um, the water's really good. The water's really blue. Hasn't been too rough either, has it? We've had a few uh, sort of yucky bits. It's been a little rough. Yeah, but it has never been calm, has it? No. Not so far. No. Bad bits about our offshore sailing? Uh, I can sleep with those two. You don't have to. You have a room that's been vacated. So that's up to you. That's on your shoulders, buddy. Bad things about offshore sailing? Sometimes it can get really rough. It can get a bit rough. We always get bang like <gasps> Yeah, we kind of fall off waves, don't we? Is that it? Is that the worst thing about well, offshore sailing? Well, you can't get off of the boat, you just have to stuck on it. And you just get a fat ass, and so all you're doing is sitting out. Beautiful. Shane, worst thing about offshore sailing? Worst thing? No signal. Yeah, no I can't communicate. I can't communicate with the outside world. <laughs> There's nothing coming up yet. condition so the repairs we did on them haven't lasted very long at all but that's okay but um, there's an anti-siphon process going on in our port tank so we've actually had to go through the top of the tank which is now in our bedroom so we've got pipes everywhere and Zeffy's on the battery for the pump and I've got to sit here filling the tank so everyone's got a job Priya's driving the boat at the moment 
good. So this is an old deck wash pump where the pressure switch is broken. So um, just as a one-off, we're using it to pump diesel. I don't expect it to last much longer after this, but um, it looks like it's going to get us out of trouble, which is awesome. Join us next time as we continue our journey towards New Zealand.